Today, with the rapid development of science and technology, the semiconductor industry is known as the food of modern industry, and its importance is self-evident. For a long time, the global semiconductor market has been dominated by several American giants. Their technological monopoly and voice advantage have greatly restricted the development of many countries in this field. And so does China. In fact, in addition to being blocked and suppressed in the semiconductor field, China has also been stuck by foreign countries in many cutting-edge scientific and technological fields, such as the reactor C-type sealing ring. The United States' advanced small iron ring has trapped China for 30 years. They have been selling to China at high prices, and ASI has made a lot of money in China. However, with the continuous research and development of domestic technology companies, now a little-known domestic factory has broken the 30-year-old industry overnight. The technology was blocked, the trump card was played, and the C-type ceiling ring was developed, which attracted widespread attention at home and abroad. Some foreign media said that it was feared to be a catastrophe. C-type ceiling ring, this seemingly ordinary little iron ring, is actually a key component in cutting-edge technological fields such as reactors. For a long time, due to the high technical threshold and difficulty in manufacturing, China has relied on imports in this field, while American companies have relied on their technological advantages to sell products at high prices and make huge profits from them. This not only restricts the development of related fields in China, but to some extent has become a stuck problem that restricts the country's self-reliance in science and technology. However, in such a predicament, this small factory in Ningbo stepped forward. They were not afraid of difficulties and challenges. With their persistent pursuit of technology and deep understanding of innovation, they successfully developed the C-type ceiling ring. The achievement of this achievement not only broke the monopoly of foreign technology, but also reached the international advanced level in various parameters, which is no less inferior to imported products. This breakthrough has undoubtedly injected strong impetus into China's development in cutting-edge technological fields such as reactors. So, how did this small factory achieve this breakthrough? First, they conducted an in-depth analysis of the technical characteristics and manufacturing difficulties of the C-type ceiling ring and gradually mastered its core technology through a large number of experiments and research. Secondly, they focused on innovation, constantly tried new materials and processes, and finally successfully developed a C-type ceiling ring with independent intellectual property rights. In addition, this small factory also attaches great importance to cooperation with universities and scientific research institutes, and promotes the rapid transformation and application of technology through the integration of industry, academia, and research. The significance of this breakthrough is not only to break the technological blockade, but also to enhance China's status and influence in the global semiconductor and cutting-edge technology fields. With the widespread application of C-type ceiling ring technology, China will be able to get rid of its dependence on foreign technology and achieve independent control in related fields. At the same time, this will also stimulate the enthusiasm for innovation of more domestic companies, promote the upgrading and development of the entire industrial chain, and completely end the days of US companies making money domestically. Therefore, some foreign media said, there is a risk of extinction. Of course, China should also clearly realize that this breakthrough 
is just the beginning and there is still a long way to go. In the fields of semiconductors and cutting-edge technology, China still faces many challenges and difficulties. However, as long as China strengthens its confidence, continues to innovate, and strengthens cooperation, it will surely be able to continuously break through technological bottlenecks and achieve self-reliance in science and technology. In addition, this breakthrough has also brought inspiration to other domestic companies. That is, in the face of technological blockade and market monopoly, China should not blindly follow foreign technology, but should actively seek the path of independent innovation. Only by mastering core technologies can we truly remain invincible in market competition. At the same time, society should also give more support and attention. Relevant support can be provided to encourage enterprises to increase investment in R&D and promote the integrated development of industry, academia, research and application. Society can create a good innovation atmosphere and provide more development opportunities and platforms for scientific and technological talents. Looking back at the breakthrough process of this small factory in Ningbo, China can't help but feel excited. They have proved with practical actions that as long as China has determination, perseverance and innovative spirit, it will be able to break the technological blockade and achieve self-reliance in science and technology. This breakthrough is not only a powerful response to the blockade of the past three decades, but also a firm confidence in future technological development. Looking to the future, China has reason to believe that as domestic companies continue to make breakthroughs and innovations in the fields of semiconductors, and cutting-edge technology, China will be able to gradually get rid of its dependence on foreign technology and achieve an all-round rise in the science and technology field. At the same time, this will also provide strong support and impetus for the sustainable development of China's economy. In this era full of opportunities and challenges, let China work together to meet every challenge and opportunity in the field of science and technology with a more open, inclusive and innovative attitude. I believe that in the near future, China will be able to witness more companies like this small factory in Ningbo continue to move forward on the road of scientific and technological innovation contributing more wisdom and strength to the scientific and technological progress of China and the world. Overnight, Ningbo's small factory broke through the 30-year blockade, not only allowing China to see the rise of domestic technological power, but also allowing China to see the infinite possibilities of independent innovation. Let China look forward to the fact that in the near future, more scientific and technological breakthroughs and innovative achievements will take root and sprout on Chinese soil, blooming with more brilliance.